Good morning, Year 4s, and welcome to Friday's maths lesson. So our learning objective today is to count in tenths. So our success criteria is to understand that one tenth is part of a whole. To count backwards and forwards in tenths. To identify what is before, after, and between tenths. And to problem solve. So to begin with, let's start with our starter. So we've got five questions, so pause the video and have a go at those. Okay, excellent. So these are our answers. So the first one was straightforward partitioning where you have to add the thousands, hundreds, and tens and ones back together again. Then number two was area. So we have just finished doing area. So I thought I'd put this in to see if you remember how to work out, work out the area of a shape. And the area was 21 centimeters squared because we did three, because there's three squares going down and seven squares going across. And then three times, 32 times two is 64. 12 times eight was 96. And then number five was what are the factors of 12? And we have to see which two numbers when multiplied together equal 12. So these were the factors of 12. Okay, now vocabulary for today's lesson is to understand what tenths means. To look at the vocabulary of before, after, and between. So it's really important that if I ask you, for example, what is the number before 100, you would know that it's 99. Or if I ask you what is the number after 200, you would know it is 201. Or if I had to say what number is between 24 and 26, you would say 25. So it's really important to know what those words mean. And then we're going to do some counting forwards and some counting backwards. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to look at our cake. So we had a picture of this cake yesterday. And we know that the, this cake is already intense because we worked through it yesterday. So. The question is, how can we count the cake in fractions? So we know that this is one whole cake. And if we had to count every single slice as a fraction, how would we do it? And then the question to challenge you is, can we count the same with other fractions too? So I'd like you to pause the video and think about how you would count this cake in fractions. Okay, excellent. So we already know that this cake has got 10 parts. because We learned that yesterday. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got 10 slices and each of those slices is a fraction of the whole. So we know that one slice is one tenth. One ten. So if we had to count all the slices, we would then say that the next slice would be two tenths. Then the next slice would be three tenths, because we've counted three slices already. So we're on three tenths. Then the next slice would be four tenths. And then the next slice would be five tenths. Then six tenths. Seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and the final slice will make it ten out of ten because it's the tenth slice. And think about what we can call ten tenths as well. Okay, it is the whole cake, so we can say it's the whole number or the number one. Okay, because then we've got one cake. So once we've got 10 tenths, we've got our whole cake again. We've counted the whole cake. Okay, so can we do this with other fractions too? Yes, we can. So for example, if we had a shape that has been split into quarters, so we've got four parts. And we wanted to count the quarters. We could also say that this is one quarter and then two quarters, 
three quarters and four quarters, and then you would have counted the whole bar. So we can count forwards in fractions. We can also count backwards in fractions as well. So you could start with 10 tenths, nine tenths, eight tenths, seven tenths, six tenths, five tenths, four tenths, three tenths, two tenths, and one tenth. Okay, so if we had to look at this counting stick, there are 10 parts. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So could you draw this counting stick? It's almost like a bar model. So could you draw a counting stick in your books? And to get nine to get 10 parts, you need to draw nine lines. And then I would like you to your by yourself to label each part counting up in tens, in tens. Okay, so pause the video now and have a go at that. Okay, well done. So I have put in the fractions while I was counting my counting stick. So it's also, it's really important not to get confused because each one of these bars is one tenth by itself. So one of those is one tenth. It's not six, that one is not six tenths. It's just the sixth tenth in the row. So each one of these is a tenth. But when we count them, we would count them going one tenth, two tenth, three tenths, four tenths, because I've colored in four tenths. So that's where I am. Five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and 10 tenths. Okay, and then, so what I'd like you to do now is to count forwards and count backwards in tenths. So pause the video and do that now. Okay, well done. And then I'd like you to answer these questions. So what is between one tenth and three tenths? Which is very important now that you know what between means and that you go and look on this number line to see what is between one tenth and three tenths. And we can see that it is two tenths. Okay, and then what will come after 10 tenths? So we're gonna look at that on the next slide, but I'd like you to have a think about if you know what will come after 10 tenths or do we just stop counting them? And your clue is, is that remember 10 tenths is the number one as well. So think about what might come next. Okay, so what I'd like you to do for the next task is to fill in the missing fractions on this number line. Okay, so pause the video and fill in the missing fractions. Okay, well done. Okay, so the answer to this one was two tenths. Put the answers up here. We had three tenths, five tenths, six tenths, and ten tenths. Okay, so now we're going to look at what comes after ten tenths. So you'll see that we know that we said earlier that ten tenths is also the number one. So it's the whole thing. So we know that after number one would come number two, but if we're gonna be looking at the fractions in between that, it would be one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths. And then you would complete that with one and four tenths, one and five tenths, one and six tenths. So you would keep going like that. You could also write it 11 tenths, which I know might look a bit funny. And later on in the term, we will be doing more number line work as well. And then you would have 12 tenths and 13 tenths. Okay, so you can, both, both of them mean the same thing, but like I said, we will come back to this eventually in the term. Okay, so 13 tenths would go above one and three tenths. Okay, so just so you know that we don't stop at the number one, we do keep going. 
Okay, so then you've got a reasoning problem now. So later on in your quiz, you'll have to be answering some reasoning. So it's really important that we always give a reason for our answer. Okay, so we've got a number line and they filled in the fractions for us, the tenths. And you've got two true or false questions. So the first one is five tenths is two tenths larger than three tenths, true or false? And then the second question is, three less than six tenths is two tenths. So I'd like you to pause the video and use the number line to help you and write down your answers. It's really important to write your answers down, giving a reason. Okay, well done. So let's look at the first one. So if it says five tenths is two larger than three tenths, a good idea would be to go to five tenths and highlight that. And we're saying it's two larger than three tenths. So if that's three tenths over there, is five tenths two larger than three tenths? If we jump on the number line, we can see it's one. So that's one tenth larger. And that is two tenths larger. And obviously we know that larger means bigger or greater. So the answer to this one is true. When the answer is true, we don't always have to give a reason because it is the truth. Okay, so if we have a look at this question, it says three less than six tenths. So we could go to six tenths and highlight that. And then it says three less. So if, we're gonna, if we know it's three less, we can count back three tenths less. So one, two, three, and that lands on three tenths. And this question is saying it lands on two tenths. So in this case, the answer would be false. And then you can give your reason. So false because three less than six tenths is three tenths and not two tenths. Okay, perfect. So if we just go back to our learning objective and steps. So again, your learning objective is to count in tenths. So by the end of this lesson, you need to be able to count in tenths, forwards and backwards, just up to the number one to 10 tenths. Um, you should be able to identify what is before and after between 10 and between tenths problem solve, so like a true or false question, can you work out the problem and give an answer? Okay, so what you need to do now is go onto Microsoft Teams and complete the quiz for counting in tenths. You're doing really well with your fractions this week, so I'm really proud of all of you. Um, and I'm looking forward to eventually coming back to school in a week and a bit's time so we can do some more fractions at school as well. So have fun and enjoy the quiz.